Come ride with me It's time to saddle up right away There's so much to see Don't worry, I know the trails, I know the way I caught a gentle horse His eyes are big and brown He's ready to carry you the whole world around Come ride with me Let's ride away Come take a chance I'll show you where the mountains touch the sky It's a horseback dance And we can ride forever if we try Welcome to the eighth issue of the Horseman's Gazette, a quarterly video series that presents horsemanship instruction and philosophies that make sense to both you and your horse. These DVDs give you the chance to sit on the fence and watch as some of the most experienced horsemen and instructors in the country work with their own horses at their own pace. Our hope is that these instructional video segments will empower you to work with your horses and create a resource that you can return to time and time again to answer your questions and push your horsemanship to new levels. So come along for the ride. You and your horse will be glad you did. Many riders understand the value in taking their horse's head around, but many ask their horse to bend without truly understanding proper flexion. Buck gives you some landmarks so that you'll know how to encourage proper flexion, whether you're standing still, going forward, or backward. Folks will take a horse's head around and pet them. They've seen, seen me ask people how to, to do it for years. They've seen it in Ray Hunt clinics, and a lot of times they don't really have much of an understanding about how flexion should occur. So I want to give you some reference points of three elements of lateral flexion that should happen whether you're standing still, going forward or backward. If you could imagine a string being tied to her foretop and there's a rock on the end of it and when you bend this horse's head around to the side you'd want that string to be between both nostrils. That means her head straight up and down this way. That's element number one. Brian demonstrates on an older horse how a horse can operate from a neck rein. Then he shows on a young horse how he introduces the concept of the neck rein and encourages the horse to learn to move from the feel of the rein. I want to visit um, now about getting a horse to neck rein. And I get my horses to operate with my feet um, only. Not that I ride bridleless, but sometimes I just drop my reins and ride with my feet. But also, I want to drop my feet and just use my reins because I don't want them foot dependent and I don't want them just rein dependent. So um, I handicap myself on one side of that and the other so that they'll get caught up on rein handling and feet handling. And so on this one I want to talk a little more about um, getting them to neck rein. And a uh, pretty good exercise, uh, well especially if you're going to ride one in the bridle you only get one hand and uh, a lot of times when you steer them over here their head will go the opposite way. Because actually what you're doing is drawing on the, on the um, left rein when you're going to the right, tightens up the left rein. Peter shows just how straightforward halter breaking a horse can be when he works with a two-year-old ranch-raised filly. In this segment, Peter continues his work on foot, exposing the filly to being handled from the ground. And I just touch it. I just want that rope to kind of come up here a little bit. Now we'll see what happens. Again, we're not trying to lead it. But it's pretty soft there. There you go. 
Bruce gives an overview of some of the unique aspects of the California style of horsemanship, from the equipment to the mental approach of the rider. This segment will lay the foundation for more specific exercises in this system. In this system of riding, I think that the bridle and all that is not so much as a steering device as it is something to, to stabilize the horse and help him balance with our weight on him, but also to connect our bodies, you know, to the front of the horse so we can, we can get the steering and stuff we need. But we want them to kind of work off their, our body, so I'll start to move my body and then I'll just kind of jiggle that horse and get his movement. I don't need him to flex a lot around. I just want him to look. But I can't just pull. It's all about, with this whole system, one of the most important things is that we, we move it, it's movement and change of balance, and then we, we kind of stop moving and it gives the horse a chance to really get a lot of bend. You can see, instead of pulling over like this, which would make the bit tip that way, I'm coming across, moving my, my body out of the horse where I want the horse to go. And if I just kind of pull on it real hard, he doesn't come around very good. But if I kind of move it and just talk to him and get that moving for me and get that kind of established. I come ride with me. Come ride with me today. Come ride with me. Come ride with me. Come ride with me. Oh, come ride.